DeJounte Murray traded to the Pelicans. Devontae Graham's contract deadline extended. Spurs fans, like many of you, I think something huge is coming. Go Spurs, go! Cause the Giants What is up, San Antonio Spurs fans? Welcome to TSR Sports. Oh my gosh, the rumor mill's flying around right now. Why was Devontae Graham's contract deadline extended? A lot of people think it's because we're going to make a trade, and it's going to be a big trade. But talk about that in a moment. Let's get into this article I found from Sports Not This Morning that's going to talk a little about what's going on here. The San Antonio Spurs continue to be linked to blockbuster trades with the NBA offseason now in full gear. And yes, the rumor mill is going to be flying the next two weeks. Reports indicate that San Antonio wants to find a running partner for young star and franchise cornerstone Victor Wembanyama. Of course they do. San Antonio has a ton of cap room. I don't know about a ton. Last I checked, a little over $20 million, give or take. A ton of draft assets, yes. And we added in the 2030 and 31 pick from the Timberwolves. I wasn't crazy about it when it happened. Not so much the trading of Dilly for that, but just the trading of the ace pick. You know what? I'm, I'm going to try to trust the process like you guys say, and hopefully it works out. And we have expiring contracts that could entice teams looking to start a rebuild. Of course, our Spurs have been linked to Trey Young of the Atlanta Hawks. And remember, if you've forgotten, San Antonio Spurs controlled the Hawks' first-round picks in each of the next three drafts. All unprotected. First round pick in 2025 and 2027. And then we have a pick swap in 2026. If you're not familiar with the pick swap, the Hawks draft 20th. Or sorry, the Spurs draft 20th and the Hawks draft first. We can swap the picks. Kind of cool, huh? Perhaps the team sends one back to Atlanta as part of a package for Trey Young. So yes, the Trey Young rumors are going to be in full force for a multitude of teams, I'm sure, over the next few weeks until something actually happens. The Hawks dealt away to Jean Murray yesterday, potentially sending that they are blowing it up. The Hawks, by the way, in this trade acquired Dyson Daniels, Larry Nance Jr., EJ Liddell, the 2025 first round pick from the Lakers, that must have been part of the Anthony Davis trade back with the Pelicans a few years ago, and then a 2027 first round pick from the Pelicans. I'm going to throw a little something here. The Hawks blow it up. Are they trading Trey Young? Could they possibly have drafted Zachary Rosache? For the Spurs to try to make a trade for him. It's a player the Spurs wrong wanted, right? I said my perfect draft would have been Castle and Rosace. Could that happen? I'm not seeing reports on this, but just, just a thought. Can Atlanta say, hey, we got the guy he wanted. We're blowing things up. We want our picks back. According to ESPN's Andrew Lopez, San Antonio is pushing back the deadline on guard Devontae Graham's contract to July 8th, which a lot of fans are speculating, myself included, a trade is coming up. What? I don't know. Let's talk about it here. The Spurs are looking to use Graham's contract as part of a broader trade over the next week or so. It's valuable in that his contract is expiring. Use of that cash can help match salaries. In addition to Trey Young, the Spurs are said to be interested in Milwaukee Bucks big man Brooke Lopez. The idea would be to get a front court partner for the aforementioned Wemiyama and Le- Lopez. No, he's going to be 36 next season. I don't think that gets us to the next level as far as Trey Young. If we're starting him and starting Castle, are we going really small ball? Wemby, Sohan, Vassell, Castle, Young? I mean, the Warriors won with small ball. Maybe? I don't know. Our own version? We'll find out soon enough what General Manager Brian Wright and company have planned. Not soon enough because this Avanti Graham thing does. John D. Murray getting traded again, third team in four years. Kind of feel bad for him now. And the Devontae Graham situation really has to open your eyeballs to something's going to happen. I don't know what. Is it Trey Young? Could we see something crazy like the Spurs make a trade for Zachary Rosace? What would you give up for Rosace? I wouldn't give up that 2025 first round pick by the Hawks. But would you give up the 2020 first round pick by the Hawks? And maybe one of those Timberwolves picks for Rosace? I don't know. I'm just brainstorming. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens. I truly do think something is going to happen. I'm just hoping it's not something that disappoints us. Like, and the Spurs make a trade for some guy that's usually a backup. I don't know who. So I'm hoping this is hoping this is a start of something, start of the master plan by Brian Wright. I know a good portion of us, myself included, aren't happy with some of his recent draft picks. Looking at Primo. A lot of folks didn't like the Sohan pick. But you know what? You can't please everybody. As a YouTube content creator, I, I, I see it all the time. Uh, Juan Nunes is a perfect example. Uh, let's talk about him for a second. I appreciate the passion for the Juan Nunes pick. You guys are comparing to Manu Ginobili. I want to pause there. Ginobili was a one-of-a-kind type of second-round pick. So let's not get our hopes up. 
But when I look at Nunez, he's a point guard. And I look at the point guards on our roster, not including Devontae Graham, because I expect him to be gone. You got Trey Jones, who needs to work on his shot, and Asterisk, because he got better from the three from free point land after the All-Star break, but I need to see that this season too before I label him, you know, finally a good shooter. Jones needs to work on his shot. Blake Wesley needs to work on his shot. Stephen Castle coming to the team needs to work on his shot. And then Ann and Juan Nunes, who probably won't play one minute for us next season. But this is another point guard that needs to work on his shot. Plus the other guys on the team that need to work on their shot. We, as fans, complained all season about the constant double teaming and triple teaming on Wemby. It's because there were non-shooters around him. So you just drop coverage back on Wemby and not worry about Trey Jones taking an open shot. Jeremy Sohan taking an open shot. At this moment, you would not worry about Juan Nunes taking an open shot. And I think that his lack of speed and defense would really be exposed in the NBA. And I hope I'm wrong. I do. I still don't like the pick. Yes, I have seen his highlights, but you have to take highlights with a grain of salt too because they are highlights. I haven't seen a full game by him, admittedly. No, I haven't seen 20 minutes of him play. I've only seen highlights, and highlights are always going to give you the best presentation for a player. He's a great passer. Yes, no doubt. Actually, Reddy might be one of the best passers in this draft class. That's great. But if he can't shoot and he can't play defense, is that going to get us to the next level? I really, really hope I'm wrong about him. And one thing I'll say here is I hope I'm wrong about everything that I'm negative on. Not negative, but just, um, you know, you guys are, you, you, the passion you guys for this kid has actually been really cool. I've enjoyed it. But any pick, any player that I say, you know, maybe I don't want them. Trey Young is not really a guy I want. If Trey comes to the Spurs, I'm going to be the first to put him a Trey Young cap and be like, I hope he kills with us. I hope he's a an all-star every time he's here. I hope he wins some championships with us. I'll root whoever puts on the silver and black. I might not like the pick. I might not like the trade. But once you're a Spur, okay. And Juan Nunez, I hope you kill it overseas. And when you finally come over here, if you come over here and play with us, I hope you prove me wrong. He's either an excellent backup point guard or if you're a starter someday, then I'll be happy to eat my words, do reactions to that previous draft pick, and be like, man, I was wrong. We wanted Furphy. Furphy sucks, and we got the Nunez. So that's it on the Nunez stuff. But I, it's, I am so excited to see what happens the end of this month, which is really just about the end of the month, going into July. I, I feel like we're going to make a move. I don't know what that move is. It seems like it could be Trey Young. But I'm going to throw it out there. Just, you know, my hot take. I'm going to Spurs try to make a play for Zachary Sashay. Then our starting lineup's going to be Wemby, Sohan, Rasashe, Wassell, and eventually Castle. Jones will probably start the season. I can't see Castle starting right away at point guard, but eventually Castle. That would give us a big lineup. And if Castle can get his shot down, and if Sohan can be the three-point shooter he was before the All-Star break and not after the All-Star break, it should have at least decent floor spacing. I'm rambling. I hope you're having a great weekend. And that's all I got. Thank you for tuning in. Drop a comment down. Oh, I forgot my little closing. Drop a comment down below. Your thoughts is this is all smokescreen stuff with the Devontae Graham contract uh, being extended. Your, your thoughts on the Deshante Murray trade? Spurs fans, you think like now with what the Pelicans gave up, do you feel like we, we kind of fleeced the Hawks even more, especially since he only lasted two seasons and wasn't a productive two seasons in Atlanta? Hit the thumbs up, like, for the channel, and subscribe to become part of our awesome Spurs community. Thank you, and as always, Go Spurs Go!